Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Well, hey guys, I, I wanted to come on here very quickly and, and just share a few thoughts with you. And uh, we're going to talk about former President Lungo, uh, Andrew Ejimadu, who many of you refer to as Seer. I call him Seer Nothing, because really that's what he is. And uh, lastly, we're going to talk about Miles. Let's begin. First of all, I wanted to share this with you that I, this is information that I think every Zambian should know. If you do not know this, then you're not with the program. Okay. You, you're you're not uh, you're not in the loop, as it were. On August the twenty sixth of twenty twenty one, former President Lungu wrote a letter to the Secretary to the Cabinet, Mister Mitty, Mister Simon Mitty, who many of you know. And in that letter, President Lungu wrote, and I quote: "Okay, this is a direct quote. Okay, I'm not paraphrasing." Okay, I'm not I'm not skirting around the issue. Okay, I, I, I'm not trying to dilute anything word for word verbatim. Because that's what verbatim means. Verbatim means word for word. Verbatim. President Lungu said, and I quote, in view of the clear provisions of the former president laws of Zambia. I hereby write to inform you that I have decided to resign as PF president and indeed from active politics. End quote. Edgar Chagualungo. Okay, now this was on the 26th. The moment, the moment the secretary to the cabinet received this letter, President Lungu's benefits and perks began to kick in. Do you know, do you, have, you guys have the idea how great it is to be a former president? Do you know what you get? Let, let me tell you what you get. Let me, let, me, let me explain to you what you get. The moment you, be, you become a former head of state and you resign from active politics, because the prerequisite is that you have to resign from active politics. You cannot be an active uh, political participant and expect to, 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 to reap the benefits of your benefits. It doesn't work that way. You have to give up something. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Okay. You, you, you can't have the yin and the yang. You know, it's, it's either one or the other. You choose. And it's, it's entirely up to you. And this is the great thing about this law. Okay, it's entirely up to you. But when you do choose as a former head of state, when you say to yourself, you know what, I have run my race. I have served the people of Zambia as best as I can. I may not have done everything that I promised, but oh, I came close. I bettered the Zambian people's lives. We are better off now than when we were when I took over. If a president can say that, walk off the pitch and retire in the shelter and the pavilion of the laws provided thereby you begin to reap the benefits number one do you know that when a former president hangs his hat up you know that phrase hands hangs his hat up or or hangs his gloves gives up politics walks away do you know that a former president for the rest of his life or her life, they get, they receive 80% of the current president's salary. 
every single month. She ain't get off. Number one. Number two, your medicals, your medical bills taken care of. You don't have to worry. You don't have to feel like you want something in terms of your health because it's, it's all taken care of. Thirdly, the house that you live in. Former President Lungo lives in a, in a house that the government pays for. He doesn't have to pay for anything. He doesn't. Why? Because he's the, he's the former head of state and he deserves that. Because that's, that's just how we roll as Zambians. You know, we, we take care of our former presidents. Zambia is not a country that, that throws our former presidents aside. No, no. There was a time when that was, but not anymore. This is a new dispensation. We take care of our former heads of state. Because that's the way it's supposed to be. And it's the right thing to do. So here it is. Your medicals are taken care of. Transportation and fuel security, honey, taken care of. You don't have to worry about a thing. Every year, once a year, you're sent on holiday. Any destination in the world, honey. Any. You can go to the Maldives. You can go to Paris. You can go to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You can go to South Alabama. You know where South Alabama is? You can go to Bogalusa. You can go to Perth, Australia. You can go to Columbus, Ohio, St. Louis, St. Louis, Missouri. Honey, you can go to Mazabuga, Madagascar. You can go to Haiti. You can go to the Dominican Republic. Honey, you can go to the islands of the sea. You can even go to the Seychelles. It's all up to you. The government will pay for it. That's how we roll. Now, here's the trouble with all of this, is that we are beginning to hear the bleeding of the sheep. Okay, now, if you're not a Christian and you don't have a, a Bible-based background, you won't know what the H-E I'm talking about. The bleeding of the sheep. Chinese whispers. People talking in the periphery. When we begin to hear the bleeding of the sheep, the, the Old Testament calls it the bleeding of the sheep. Not bleeding, bleeding, the sound of the sheep. We're beginning to hear that President Lungu, former President Lungu, is hinting or He's being influenced into thinking that he can come back. Now, here's, here's the problem I have with that. When you've served seven years, you've served the people of Zambia for seven years. And on top of that, you had no idea that you would become president. But you served. The, the, the Zambian people gave you two Two opportunities, two separate opportunities where you were sworn in twice. You have reached a stage in your life that many of us wish to be in, in terms of age. God has blessed you with longevity. And then here it is, you've got everything on a silver plate. Not that you don't deserve it, you do deserve it. Because you worked for it. And the Zambian people gave you that opportunity to, 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 to serve. Why would you want to throw all that away simply because people like Nagachinda, people like Wagiven Luwinda, people like Bowman, for goodness sake. Bowman. We got Bowman on the, on, on, on the fringes of this. You're listening to these not that Valuinda is a despot, okay? Valuinda is a when I say despot. But Nakachinda is a bomb and men are as despots. Valuinda is a bomb. Because I happen to like Mr. Lubin. I think he's a good guy. Okay? But why would you listen to these bottom feeders when you have served? I'll tell you why. Because the people around the former president are not thinking about him. 
they are thinking about themselves. Oh, honey, that's what it is right there. The parifimbio, it's got nothing to do with the Zambian people missing the former head of state. Heck, Americans miss Obama. But nobody's saying to Obama, Obama, we miss you so much, we want you to come back. What the heck is all that about? Your time has passed. In the words of Beyonce, who just won 32 Grammys, for goodness sake. To the left, to the left, to the left, you've done your part. Step aside, step aside, step aside. Let somebody else take over. Because that's the way we roll. And here it is. You are listening to these despots. Listen, and you've got a, 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 a registered sex offender in the name of Chilufiate Ali who's giving the former head of state tips. What kind of world are we living in? Guys, what is this? And I blame you. I blame you, Mr. 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 Lungo, Mr. Mr. Former President. I blame you, sir. How, how in the world are you going to allow a bottom feeder as a registered sex offender like Chilufia Tayali to, to get anywhere close to you. Why would you do that? Why is that? I'm trying to wrap my brain around that concept. And I'll tell you, sir, it's, I'm not getting it. It's not, you know, it's not gelling. And you know that old saying, if it's not gelling, then it's not jello. Mr. Mr. Former President, you did your term the terms you ran your race you did your best but it's time to to move on let other people do step in don't listen to these jokers yeah i don't know yeah, camera battery knife. I didn't charge the thing yesterday. battery. Anyway, that's what I wanted to tell you. You ran your race. You did your best. It's time to move on. We love you, but it's time to move on. God bless. Bye. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.